Project Muhan is Samsung's answer to the Apple Vision Pro. Samsung has already teased some exciting features, like multimodal input, high-end displays, and pass-through capabilities that let you stay connected to your surroundings while diving into virtual content. The headset is also expected to feature pancake lenses, similar to those on the MetaQuest 3 and Vision Pro. These lenses are known for producing sharp visuals, but some early testers say they're not quite on par with what other headsets offer. However, the experience is still deeply immersive. What's unique about this headset? It'll be running Android XR, a new operating system built specifically for XR devices in collaboration with Google and Qualcomm. This could mean tight integration with Google's ecosystem, offering features like gesture-based circle-to-search, immersive Google Maps, and even real-time text translation right in your field of view. Gemini and Project Muhan is set to deliver a way more intuitive AI experience. It can actually see what you're looking at in real time, whether it's in the real world or virtual. Plus, it's got memory, so it can remember past conversations and give you a more seamless, personalized experience. XR, short for Extended Reality, includes AR, VR, and MR technologies. While Samsung did dabble in VR with the Gear VR back in 2015, Project Muhan marks their serious entry into the growing, but currently sluggish, XR market. To compete with the likes of the MetaQuest 3 and Apple Vision Pro, Project Muhan is expected to feature advanced hand and eye tracking for intuitive navigation. Think pinching your fingers to select apps and using gestures to zoom and scroll. Samsung has also confirmed controller support, but details on their design are still under wraps. With Project Muhan, Samsung has a lot to prove, not just that it can compete in the XR space, but that Android XR, combined with AI, can truly reshape the industry. So, what do you think? Can Samsung pull it off? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. See you next time.